Good day everyone. Welcome back once again. Today we'll be evaluating the following triple integrals. We have the integral from 0 to 1 times the integral from 0 to 1 times the integral from 0 to 1. 1 over 1 minus x, y, z, dx, dy, dz. Amazing. Now let's get started. Before we proceed, let us take note of the following power series expansion of 1 minus 1 all over a. That this is equal to sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of a to the power of n. So from here, that 1 minus 1, sorry, 1 all over 1 minus x, y, z, this is equal to sum from 0 to infinity of x, y, z to the power of n, same as sum from 0 to infinity, x to the power of n times y to the power of n times z to the power of n. So if we call our integral i from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, 1 all over 1 minus x, y, z, dx, dy, dz. This is equal to integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, sum from 0 to infinity, x to the power of n times y to the power of n times z to the power of n, dx, dy, dz. So here i is equal to here we can write out the sum as integral from 0 to inf sorry sum n goes from 0 to infinity by the way sorry for that then we have the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of n dx times integral from 0 to 1 of y to the power of n dy times integral from 0 to 1 of z to the power of n dz and we all know that the integral of x to the power of n dx, this is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, right? So for each of these integral, let us try to evaluate 1. Because the three integrals has the same values, right? So let's say we are integrating the x integral. So this is equal to x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 from 0 to 1. Now when we put the upper limits 1 raised by n plus 1 over n plus 1, we subtract when we put the lower limit over n plus 1. This will give us 1 over n plus 1. So our i is equal to sum from 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 multiplied by 1 over n plus 1 multiply by 1 over n plus 1. This is equal to sum from 0 to infinity, 1 over n plus 1 cubed. Now let us recall the Riemann zeta function. The Riemann zeta of p is equal to sum from 0 to infinity of 1 all over n plus 1 to the power of p. So from here, our i is equal to sum from 0 to infinity of 1 over n plus 1 to the power of 3. This is exactly equal to the Riemann zeta of 3. And this is the correct answer. We can also call it the Aperis constant. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.